show tonight. I want you to meet now a guy that's a real thrill and pleasure to introduce to you. One of the greatest, he's not one of the, he is the greatest guitar player in the history of country music. A legendary name, ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Chet Atkins. Here he comes. Woo! Welcome, Chet. Great to have you here, buddy. Thank you, Porter. He lies a lot. I will admit to being one of the best known, but certainly not the best. They got some great guitar players on the Grand Ole Opry. Let me tell you. Here's a tune uh, I had a hit on about a quarter of a century ago. this song, Benny Hill's theme song, right? Booth Randolph wrote it for the saxophone. About uh, 15 years ago, Merle Travis, the great man, sent me a lyric on it. It laid around on my music stand for years, and I finally got to looking at it and thought, well, I might sing that. And I did an album with Mark Knopfler, and folks, I did a Good job. My performance was a little above below average. That's a joke. Here's what Merle wrote. Poverty stricken, but still I'm a sticking to the things I know to be facts. One day's feathers and the next day chicken while I'm picking my yakety axe. Everybody says that I never will get far picking out things on this old guitar, living on a shoestring, forgetting things like a shave and a haircut. Money don't matter as long as I scatter a little bit of happiness around. If people keep a grinning, I figure I'm a winner with my good old yakety sound. Everybody goes around turning up their noses, counting their greenbacks, smelling their roses. But I wouldn't trade my yakety yaks, even for a trombone. Well, I'm confessing I never took a lesson. All my notes are a matter of guessing. I'm hoping they'll come out in some kind of manner that'll make a yakety sound. So if you're in the mood and your feet start tapping and you feel laid back and your hands start clapping, then I'll have done what I want to do from way back here digging my yakety yaks. I was reading a few years ago about some of the rock acts taking in 80 million a year, and I thought I might change my direction. Don't think it's too late. So I wrote this little parody. Recorded it with Mark Knopfler. It's what 
things may be like when I go into rock and roll. you're never gonna play that rock and roll why is that well you're a little too country and a little too old but all that money for nothing and the girls are for free yeah but those groovy girls aren't all they're cracked up to be well i really would like to find out for myself don't you know i've had a kind of shelter life down there on music row i'm serious paul what do you think Boy, you got me, Chet. I just don't know. I really think that I am underpaid. There'll be some changes made. Thank you, Chip. Folks, right back after this good word. Watch and listen. 